Hey guys, welcome back to Electric Oka Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Ford C Max. It could be any generation, but we'll be demonstrating on generation 2012 year to year 2019. If you want to know the top one reason why your airbag light is on, stay with us. We'll cover that today. We'll explain how you can test it. All that will be covered in this video today, and we'll explain what equipment we use as well. Now, I recommend if you're not qualified and certified, never works on airbag never work on airbags because they're dangerous and they can kill you as well so consider this entertaining and not a how-to video before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos another thing if you want to save quite a bit of money on car parts tools uh, anything for your car guys check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so let's go ahead and start on it now so let's go ahead let me uh, grab the key quick guys okay i'm going to get the key and uh oh, we're going to uh, go ahead okay and see now when i turn the vehicle on you will notice that the airbag light will be on uh, it may flash on then turn off and then it will come back on or it may just stay on all the way so if i go ahead now okay and start the car check it out now okay airbag light is right there on top it will just stay on right turn off okay and then turn back on that's normal guys so uh because there is a problem if there wasn't a problem it was not going to be normal so what can easily guys okay what can easily cause that airbag light on one thing guys okay uh, airbag systems are super complicated on these cars you have multiple airbags front airbags knee airbags uh, the seat belts are part of the airbag system you have the roof airbags as well the curtain airbags you have airbag uh, detector in the seat to tell you if you have a heavy enough passenger uh, let's say you have a kit you don't want the front airbag to explode in their face because it can kill them so if the passenger is not heavy enough it will not activate the passenger airbag uh, so multiple things guys can cause airbag light to be on you have uh, crash sensors on the front and on the sides and you have the clock spring that allows the steering wheel to turn left and right as well so uh, the number one reason guys let's go ahead i'm going to go ahead okay and turn the ignition on without starting the car i'll get that computer here i want to scan it and show you guys so you need to find your obd port okay right there we're going to plug it in okay and connect now so if you need to buy a good computer that can pay itself off in one time use you can work on any car you can think of guys it's amazing piece of equipment check it out Ford is right here but you can work on anything okay i'll recommend this one and i'll put the link in the description of the video below we'll select auto detect it's going to uh, read the vin number ask us okay to confirm and uh, to make sure that this is the vehicle that we have after that it's going to decode that information and it will practically guys okay tell us okay what's wrong here now the battery voltage you need to make sure that your voltage is good enough having low battery voltage can activate your air backlight in some cases as well now the thing about forward it's a self-healing system on most forward vehicles that means that if the problem was fixed with the airbag if it was a low voltage and then the battery recharge it should turn the airbag light off if uh, it stays on it means there is a problem so we're going to go ahead okay plug it in it's going to communicate now connect to all the computers this computer can read the lead codes and see live data from every computer system in your car which makes it guys super super powerful piece of equipment uh, practically dealer level equipment without the programming and most of you probably will not even need the programming section so uh definitely i'll consider it okay if you're on the market for something like that it can pay itself off in one time use so let's go ahead okay it's loading now uh, it may take a little bit because it's communicating with all different modules and computers here we select control unit and here under control unit you will have rcm which stands for restraint control module click this one and you will see okay right here read codes it's going to establish communication and tell us exactly okay what's wrong and we'll conduct one more test <coughs> make sure it stay until the end so 
okay normal if you hear lights beeping and blinking uh, this is it's communicating with the computer system so that will uh, practically tell us okay that it's communicating so it's getting there you can see guys lost communication with the restrain occupant classification system module okay those are the codes right here so <coughs> those codes guys okay you can see u0154 the uh, restraint occupant classification system is the mat in, in the seat that detects how heavy the passenger is so we have a problem there guys and if i come right here through live data it's going to open all the parameters you can actually see the status there as well uh, now we'll explain what easily breaks there and how to check it so right here if we scroll down scroll down okay occupant classification sensor status inter minute uh, indeterminate right here indeterminate so we cannot find it occupant classification vehicle uh, system vehicle re right here unknown and the occupant weight uh, state disabled so there is a problem right here uh, now every time you work on airbags again you have to be qualified and certified but disconnect the car battery for at least one hour before you uh, continue because that way you can minimize the chance for something blowing up but it still could happen and on these modern cars it really matters which battery terminal you disconnect reconnect first if you don't know about it we'll put the link in the description of the video below that explains all that we'll disconnect the car battery and we'll continue so if you come right here check it out now we're under the seat and right here guys okay uh, right here that's the occupant classification system okay that's the okay that's the module let me just turn the light a little bit down so it's not so bright okay perfect and if you look guys that connector right here was yanked out now why i uh, sometimes people will put their feet and they will break wires there from underneath uh, you have the airbag yellow wire there for the side airbag as well you can see this wire as well so multiple things can go bad but this is guys what's detecting the weight right here it's connected to the mat that's installed in the seat and when you see there is gel that will put pressure on that sensor and that sensor will detect by the pressure if it's heavy enough now ours was just disconnected wire but it could be a bad sensor as well i'll go ahead okay reconnect the car battery and we'll continue car battery has been reconnected so i'm going to go ahead turn the ignition back on right here uh, now uh, the computer system okay we'll need to be uh, plugged back in due to the fact okay that the car battery was disconnected there was no communication okay sure that all cables are connected perfect now if we go back okay check it out i haven't done anything airbag light turned itself off that's the self-healing system practically if i read the codes they will still be in the system okay but they will be uh, stored in the history of the vehicle so you will need to still clean them if you don't want them present but actually they will be uh, not uh, they will not be uh, triggering the light because the codes are not current guys so it's loading communicating now and anytime okay to establish that connection you can see now that code i can go ahead okay and you can uh, uh, you can delete them if you want to and later okay erase codes right here yes yes check it out now it's erasing codes they have been successfully erased if i go here it shouldn't be uh, in the computer system anymore let's go ahead and confirm that so uh, it's just taking a little bit of time again airbag light is not on now it's communicating with the computer systems so it should connect anytime always make sure when you do the diagnostics the battery voltage does not drop below 12 i recommend to keep it above 12.5 volts you might need to connect it to a charger no fault codes detected we go to live data under live data you can see the uh, occupant classification system will be there and everything will be working correctly guys so occupant classification system empty uh, and right here disabled so uh, if we actually have a person sit now let's go ahead and sit in it okay check it out now if you check it will go from empty give it about five seconds it will go to 
uh, occupied. Okay, right there, enable airbag. And when we get off, another five seconds, it should switch to uh, empty again. Due to the fact that if you're hitting a bump or something, it doesn't want to change so fast. So that's guys, the most common reason for airbag light on Ford C-Max. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.